And now the details. A former police officer in Delaware County is charged with the rape of a teenager tonight. It's just one of three sexual assaults he is now being accused of dating back years. The accusations come just months after he was sworn into the police force. Action News reporter Aliana Gomez has the story from Sharon Hill. These very disturbing details involve former Sharon Hill police officer Tyler Humphreys, who was recently serving as a high school resource officer. He's facing a slew of rape and sexual assault related charges in Chester County involving three juvenile victims over the course of eight years. 21 year old Tyler Humphreys is accused of forcing a nine year old boy to perform sex acts on the suspect who was reportedly 12 years old at the time. Investigators say the sexual assaults went on for four years starting in 2014 in East Whiteland Township. Then last December in Charleston Township, detectives say Humphreys gave a 15 year old girl alcohol and waited until she was intoxicated and unconscious to rape her. Around that same time last year, Humphreys allegedly gave a 19 year old girl an excessive amount of over the counter drugs and sexual assaulted her while she was sleeping. According to the affidavit, the victim also told police that Humphreys had inappropriately touched and abused her when she was 11 years old. He was 12 at the time. Humphreys also worked part time for Fullcroft Police and was recently a school resource officer at Academy Park High School in Sharon Hill. We received this statement from Sharon Hill Police Chief Richard Heron saying, quote, former officer Tyler Humphreys has been terminated from the Sharon Hill Police Department. All of the alleged allegations occurred prior to his employment with the Sharon Hill Police Department. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families. Detectives say they have physical and digital evidence corroborating the victims and witness statements. Of course, if anyone out there has any further information, they should contact the Chester County DA's office. In Sharon Hill, Aliana Gomez, Channel 6 Action News. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, Police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.